H. We just hear T, H, R, U, and through. Here we have E, W as in U, and the word is do. Here we have S, U as in surely, insurance, sugar. Here we have the game, the K, N, as in knapsack. Here we have S-U, as in sugar. Here we have the T-I, as in action. Here we have the B-L-E, as in double. Here we have the O-U-G-H, as in dough. Now, again, these are called sounds in isolation because it's difficult without repetitious drill for children to be able to distinguish and to be able to spell and write correctly the letters and sounds that they do not hear when articulating the word. Now let's try it. The sound is sh and the word is sugar. The sound is sh and the word is action. The sound is sh and the word is session. The sound is m and the word is dumb. The sound is p and the word is a. The sound is o and the word is do. But here the sound is f and the word is rock. So you do do and rock, do and rock. The o u g h do now says o. The o u g h rock. Now says F. Double. Knapsack. The sound is sh. The word is surely. The sound is u and the word is do. The sound is o and the through ooh and the word is through. A thorough. Okay, the sound is ga and the word is ghost. The sound is ga and the word is ghastly. The sound is n and the word is gnarl. The sound is n and the word is known. The sound is a and the word is a. Then again, you go through the same processes of teaching children to listen, to think, to follow directions. Mary, will you come to the board and draw a square around the word that says knapsack? Good job. Very good. So bright that I think I need to wear sunglasses. You're just so bright. Now, John, will you come to the board and draw a circle around the word that says sugar? Now, boys and girls, I'm going to count and you listen and follow directions. One, two, three, four, five. Write the next two numbers that follow the last number I said. Above the word that says do. Good job, you're so bright. Now, um, Robert, come to the board and draw a ball below the word that says ghastly. Good job. Well, now Mary, come to the board and draw a balloon with two strings above the word that says no. One balloon with two strings. Good job, you're so bright. Now, Robert, come to the board and write and a block A word below the word that says surely. It can be any block A word you'd like to write. The word is bay. Good job. Very good. If you notice, I have done a combination of listening, following directions, and reading at the very same time. Again, I cannot say enough times that if this is done consistently every day,
but you will see greater thinkers. You will see children beginning to read and to comprehend. When they pay attention to detail and how they lead to learn to read phonetically, they will also begin to pay close detail to what they read. Once they do this, the comprehension levels will automatically soar. Again, it is about you, the teacher's excellence. Because first of all, if we are not excellent at what we do, we cannot possibly expect our students to be excellent. So let's each of us as teachers begin with the end in mind. Where would you like to see your students perform at the end of the year? That is where we must begin on day one. Again, every teacher is a teacher of excellence. Every child is a born achiever. To me, one of the greatest mysteries in the Western world is textbook publishers who tell us that a word at the end, the E at the end of words such as fine is a magic E or final E. There is no such thing. The E is a vowel signal, and the vowel signals are E, I, and Y. And this exercise, it's a clapping or kind of game session that children learn the vowel signals and what they actually do. Again, I will begin to demonstrate how we do this daily until children have mastered what the vowel signals are. Sham and shame, sham and shame. The vowel signal E hits a vowel before it and make it say its name. Rob and Ruby. Rob and Ruby, the vowel signal Y, hits a vowel before it and makes it say its name. Cap and cape, cap and cape, the vowel signal E, hits a vowel before it and makes it say its name. Mat and mate, mat and mate, vowel signal E, hits a vowel before it and makes it say its name. Stag and stage, stag and stage. The vowel signal E changes G to J. The vowel signal E changes G to J. The vowel signal E hits a vowel before it and makes it say its name. Dim and dime, dim and dime. The vowel signal E hits a vowel before it and makes it say its name. Super and supper, super and supper. The vowel signal E hits that vowel before it and makes it say its name. Here, we double the consonant because we have now pushed the vowel signal too far away to act. So this vowel is now short. Winner and winner, winner and winner. Here, the very same thing has happened. We have doubled the consonant. So we have now pushed this vowel signal too far away to act and make it say its name. Here, hope and hopping, hope and hopping. We push the double consonant here again. The vowel signal I has been pushed too far away to now hit that vowel and make it say its name. Mad and madge, mad and madge. The vowel signal E changes G to J. Bag and beige, bag and beige. The vowel signal E changes G to J. E before I always has the sound of A. The rule is I before E, except after C, unless E has the long sound of A, as in neighbor and way. Here, the vowel signal E changes EI to A, and we now have the long sound of A, as in beige. Rug and rouge, rug and rouge. The vowel signal E changes G to J. Thin and fine, thin and fine. The vowel signal E hits that vowel before it and makes it say its name. Spin and spine, spin and spine. The vowel signal E hits that vowel before it and makes it say its name. Act and action, act and action. The vowel signal I changes T to SH. So we now no longer have the TI here. We now, TI now makes the sound of S 
clapping sound. Raw band movie. Raw band movie. The vowel signal Y hits that vowel before it and makes it say its name. And makes it say its name. Calf and cake. Calf and cake. Vowel signal E hits that vowel before it and makes it say its name. This is what we do with the vowel signals. Again, it's another repetition of how we teach phonics. It has been said that once people learn how to tick, ultimately they want to learn how to tick better. The same thing is very true of children. Once they learn the true joy of achievement, they always want to learn to achieve even more. Once young children learn the basic rudiments of reading, the key is you will never have discipline problems again. Once we teach them how to think, ultimately the chore is how to think better. And once we get the basic skills, children will want to read the lofty thoughts and the great ideas of all of the great literature and great books. Here you will see again another repetitive drill of how we use a phonics. Remember, we find many various ways of getting across the same sounds we have attempted to teach them in order to unlock any word. And this is called, and the vowel is, and then the word. Here the vowel is A and the word is cake. The vowel is A and the word is lay. The vowel is A and the word is they. The vowel is A and the word is steak. The vowel is A and the word is health. The vowel is A and the word is bread. The vowel is A and the word is straight. The vowel is A and the word is eight. The vowel is O and the word is blow. The vowel is A and the word is race. The vowel is E and the word is silly. The vowel is E and the word is leave. The vowel is U and the word is stew. The vowel is U and the word is juice. The vowel is E and the word is eager. The vowel is O and the word is no. The vowel is O and the word is tell. The vowel is O and the word is dull. The vowel is E and the word is zip. The vowel is and the word is measure. Here we notice Z in the middle of the word has the sound of Z. Here the vowel is R and the word is walk. The vowel is E and the word is situation. This is one of those misnomers where many children have much difficulty with words like language, situation, because here they actually hear a ducky in the middle of the word. Here the vowel is A and the word is way. The vowel is A and the word is language. Here of situation with language. The U has a sound of W. The vowel is A and the word is wage. Book, books, E, zip, A, agile. Here the vowel signal I changes G to J. And the word is agile, which means rapid. And the effort is to get children to go through these words as rapidly as possible with little difficulty. This time I'm going to do the words a little more speedier, the same efforts with which you want children to achieve after going through the words a time or two. The vowel is A and the word is cake. The vowel is A and the word is lay. The vowel is A and the word is they. The vowel is A and the word is state. The vowel is A and the word is help. The vowel is A and the word is bread. The vowel is A and the word is straight. The vowel is A and the word is eight. The vowel is O and the word is blow. The vowel is A and the word is race. The vowel is E and the word is silly. The vowel is E and the word is lead. Again, I think, hopefully you can see the pattern. After the children have gone through the words, then the teacher will give the children dictation from these words where they will actually write the words at their seats. Now they're going to